the wedding dress shopping journey. I'm like shaking just talking about it. I mean, this is the wedding of the decade. The dress is out there. It's yes. made it's sitting somewhere right now. And we just have to find her. We're like there for seven hours. Yeah. They're just like, yeah. You're like, you done yet? I'm like, almost. <laughs> I want a date to your wedding. <laughs> the following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Remy Cruz. And I am your co-host, Alicia Marie. Yes. Actually, I think when they're listening to this, we will be, I think we're, we will be on our way to Asia. Already? Um, Just kidding. A week from when you're listening to this, we will be going to Asia. But in honor of the trip, I'm wearing my K-pop shirt. <gasps> I love it. This is my Espa shirt. I have to give them a shout out. They are shoppuff. I think it's shoppuff. Let me look so I know for sure. It's a subscriber shop. Oh, love and it. And they make amazing K-pop merch. I should get us matching shirts for the plane. Bitch, I'm say so doing less. That. Who's your favorite K-pop group? Uh, I, shoppuff. Live. I feel like all I can, I can't. I want to say. Off the top of your head. Black, pink, but like okay. that's so basic. That's, that's okay. By the time we come back, I mean, your answer could be black, pink still, and that's yeah. totally fine. I mean, I've only seen, I just, I saw them, I saw their full set at Coachella a few years ago and it was amazing. So I just feel like I'm obligated to say them because I was wowed. That's okay. I mean, they're an amazing group. So we, I'll get you a black, pink shirt and we can wear them on the way to Is Korea. Is that like weird? I don't really care. Okay. No, I no, no. I'm like, fun. can I? Is that, I love it. That you're wearing a black pink shirt? I don't know. I wait. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Is it because you're white? I was thinking. <laughs> I knew it's because that's what you're thinking. No, of okay. course you can like K-pop. Okay. Okay, I know. No matter like what you, you are. I know. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited. Yeah, it's very excited. I don't really know what to expect because also like, I know we've said this before, but the last time we both were in Tokyo, we saw each other at the airport and we didn't get to like actually hang out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so excited for us to have a little bestie trip. I know when we were running around New York, just you and I, I eat going to the coffee shop and going back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is going to be us. I can't wait. We're just going to be all around just us too. What food are you looking forward to most to having? <sighs> I mean, anything, anything noodle. Okay. Anything, anything, any sushi, the fish market. I Ashley and I didn't, we tried to go to the fish market, but it was so busy and hot and late by the time we got there, we didn't go. So I'm oh. actually excited. I know you're going to want to go. We're going to have to go like really early on when we're jet lagged, when we're up at like 4 a.m. That's oh. the best time to go because okay. then no one's there. I will say I've been doing a lot of research and it's no longer the actual like, because it used to be where they did the fish auction and the market was next door. Oh. Now they've moved the auction to a different place. So now it's just like the little marketplace, which is still I, fine and delicious. I'm pretty sure they moved it closer when they built the new buildings for the Olympics, like oh. that area, which would make sense. Okay, well- I could be very wrong. Very excited about all that. I have not been to Korea in almost 15 years. <gasps> and so there's so much food that I cannot wait to try, specifically like the, the actual markets. <sighs> also, there's a place that I really wanna go to, but I think, I'm so sorry, I have to wait for Cal because he and I watched this really long video. It was like a documentary short, short series sort of um, video on this man who owns a fish cake shop and he's like an hour out of Seoul, I believe it is. And he works like 364 days a year. I'm not even kidding, like uh. day in and day out and apparently makes like the most incredible fish cake. And so, I think if Cal found out that I went without he'd be him, mad. he'd be really, really sad. Be sad. So I think it's I have okay. to wait, we'll but you can save that for him for I'm sure. I'm excited for the fish cake. I'm I excited love for everything. Fish cake. It's going to be so delicious. I'm truly like, I, I'm not going to be an Instagrammer. I'm not going to be a blogger. I'm going to eat the food. I love it. Same like, as here. I'm aware of my comfy clothes. I'm a leggings every day, leggings and a big t-shirt, my black <gasps> pink t-shirt every day. I'll buy us a different shirt for every, every day. day. <laughs> I'm like, not even kidding. I, I will do that will. if you want me to. <gasps> I just bought so many. I got an Espa shirt. I got a La Seraphim. You like La Seraphim? I do like La I'll Seraphim. I'll get you a La Seraphim shirt. Sorry, I, I know not everyone's into K-pop so we can change the subject, but it's gonna be no, so fun. No, live your truth. The skincare. Oh, I, I am really excited. And I will be getting a facial. Yes. Or a massage or something. We need to book facials for our sure. Our nails, we need to get our nails done. No, I really want to do like maybe the Korean head spa. Everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's no, gonna like, be so good. I am so excited. <laughs> I want to go, I think there's like, um, 
I believe it's like the Nung Shim, I think it is. Like one of the companies that's really popular for the instant noodles. You can go to a factory and like make stop. your own. Remy, stop. I think that would be really cool for Remy, us to do. You stop. love, she loves a, a ramen. I love noodles. Yeah. There's like these really viral Japanese udon noodles that I would love to go to with you. And they're flat and wide udon noodles. <gasps> I, yes. I want to try yes. that. Soy. Soy is supposed to be a lot. Oh, it's at the airport. There, she she said there's two locations. I This could be a different one. But she was like, there's also one at the Haneda airport. Mm. And there's like no line. But normally it's a three-hour uh, line. I'm oh. pretty sure that's at the exact place. Let's go. I love food so much. But I cannot wait in a three-hour line. I simply can't. I know. I would rather not have it than wait. And that's probably not very good. As a food creator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the max I will wait is like an hour. Unless I have something to do. Or you, like like they text you and you walk. can come and exactly. shop. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Standing in a line for, for three hours, I don't think I could do that. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Damn. Well, um, something really exciting is actually happening tomorrow. <gasps> yes. We are going to start the wedding dress shopping journey. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm like shaking just talking about it. No, like I think because, you know, it's just been really busy. We're not realizing how insane and significant and exciting this is. Like, yes, we're starting it. It's gonna, it might be like a long process, but it's starting it and we're gonna have our bridesmaids moment without the diarrhea. (laughs) Should we go to Fogo to Chow before we go? The Brazilian barbecue. Fogo de Chao fucking slaps. I've never been. You've never been to Fogo de Chao? Mm-mm. Well, just Brazilian barbecue in general. First of all, Brazilian cheese bread. I believe it's pronounced, I'm so sorry if I butcher this, pau de queijo. I think okay. that's how you say it. Oh my God. You would love it. Maybe I'll make it go, for you. Let's go after the dress. Good call. <laughs> it's like, it's a tapioca flour base. Mm-hmm. So it's like chewy and like, uh, like, Kind of like boba e on the oh inside, you know what I mean? Like if it's crispy on the outside, boba e like chewy on the inside with cheese. Oh my God. And they do Parmesan and like a mozzarella. So it's kind of like that sharp bite, like the softer bite. It is so good. And then at Brazilian barbecue places, like these specific ones I'm thinking of, they give you a little card that's green on one side, red on the other. So when you flip it to green, it means go. And people will, with giant skewers of just meat, come as long as it's green and just keep serving you until you make it red. Stop. You've never been? No. There's one in downtown, literally attached to my apartment. Yeah. I've heard wonderful things. We'll make it there. Oh my God. After we go dress shopping. Afterwards, not before. Yes. A thousand percent. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, one, how are we feeling? I am... I feel like it hasn't actually hit me. Let me make myself a little more comfortable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remy, you I are pick my about to, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm literally gonna cry. I did ask Alicia to come with me. So let me just start off by saying, I, oh, wait, I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. So many updates about wedding stuff. And I will say, originally, <laughs> I wasn't gonna share a ton about wedding stuff because I thought that I was gonna really annoy people. No. But every time I talk about it, I get so many comments on vlogs, on PB, because a lot of us are in our bridal era. And yeah, yeah <laughs> Alicia and I are both in our bridal era. So many people are in their bridal era and are like, please, like I wanna hear all about it. Also from someone who's actually not in their bridal era, I don't know much about weddings and wedding planning. Neither and do I. the process. Yeah. And I'm very invested because you'll be like, yeah, I met with this person and they said to start this process this early. And I'm like, what? Like, how do you even start? I mean, I feel so lucky to have friends who are open and not like gatekeepers about wedding stuff. Oh, well- if, I mean, I guess if you have friends who are weird gatekeepers, then they're not your real friends. But like Lauren and Kaylee have been so open and helpful with me with all wedding stuff. Uh, like from what, like timeline things to uh, vendors that they recommend, like so many things that I uh, would not know what to do. Yeah. To me, it feels very much like when I, and let me know if anybody else felt this way, when I was in high school applying to college, mm. they did not prep us for that at all. I remember a lot of kids in my school. What was that thing that you had to do if you were applying to a private school? It was that like portal that you had to go on to and submit all of your like resumes and essays and things. Oh my God. Well, I went to community college, so I didn't have to do that. (laughs) I remember being at school in high school and all of a sudden everyone started talking about Common App and how they were doing all these things and how they were applying to this private school and this school and this school. Granted, I didn't apply for any private schools, but a big part of it, I mean, other than, be, than it being very expensive, I didn't know. And I feel like 
how did everyone know what to do when no, no one taught us? No, but like, I felt so dumb. No, I still feel dumb to this day. I think most people feel that way. Okay, good. Like even, even my mom, like, cause she, her parents weren't really around. So she had, um, like a, a, a friend's mom was like, Hey, I'm going to apply, help you apply for colleges. Um, and get some scholarship. Like my mom didn't know anything. Yeah. So she, and she had people help her. So when it came to us, she was like, I don't even know what to do. And it's also different by then. I feel like there should be a course in school that teaches did kids you ever, how they, to do that. They did like a one random class thing for us of like school where like the counselor came in and was like, you need to start thinking about blah, blah, blah. I remember one of my years I had a class where we learned like adult, quote unquote adult, Things. responsibilities we learned how to balance a checkbook which i mean could be helpful maybe but like i do think that maybe college applications might be a little bit more helpful than balancing a checkbook well now. also balancing a checkbook isn't i mean it still is a thing but it's different because back then i remember my mom would always have her well, calculator they, out. So many they had like a physical yeah. checkbook yeah. to do where now a lot of things are just digital exactly so i feel very similarly to how i felt a decade ago wow when i was like how does everyone know what to do like how how Regardless, does it feel different? Yes and no. I think not as much because we already live together and like, you know, we've done a lot of those things. So it it, it feels a little different, but I'm sure it could feel very different for other people. Yeah. But we've been engaged for, what is that now? Like eight months? It's been like yeah. a good amount of time. And truly the only thing that I've ever had in my head for a wedding is I wanted a spring wedding. Well, specifically I wanted a June wedding <laughs> and I also wanted it to be overlooking the ocean. That's the only thing that I've ever thought about my wedding. The one stipulation kind of put me in a bit more of a, a time crunch. So with that one stipulation or those two stipulations, um, other than that, I didn't, I didn't care about, and yeah. I still don't really care about anything wedding related. Um, but I talked about this a little bit on PB for me personally, I've always had a very traditional mindset and timeline. Like mm -hmm. I've always wanted to date, get engaged, get married, have kids, have kids, yeah. which obviously everybody has their own timeline yeah. and whatever happens, and it can happens. Change. Exactly. Yeah. But that's something that I've always kind of wanted. And so more so this idea of when to have the wedding has been kind of been put in place because of when I want to have kids. Mm. I could be engaged, honestly, for the rest of my life. Like I, if, if I didn't have a biological clock ticking yeah. because I love being engaged. I it's so it. fun. I love it. In the beginning and Cal and I kept saying this, like calling each other fiance feels so weird. It feels so like mature. It made me feel like my fiance. Like mm -hmm. I was bragging when I'm like, <laughs> now I'm finally used to saying it. But um, yeah, if it weren't for like when we want to have kids, then I feel like we could have just kept going without the wedding, which yeah. again, things can change and that's fine. But. Yeah. I mean, some people are engaged for like, three years, like Some four years. Some people also are engaged and never get married. And that's so fine too. Like mm -hmm. truly everyone's on their own trajectory, but um, because of what Cal and I want for our lives and uh, when we want to have kids, we're like, okay, then we should get married at this time. Meaning yeah. we should start wedding planning. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that was so long winded. No, it's honestly, it's exciting. Like I love hearing it. Yay. Okay. I really good. do. Hopefully no one's clicked out yet, but uh, we, we weren't sure about what wedding planner to bring on uh, or even the idea of like a wedding planner. I just knew I really needed help because my work life has been so busy Yeah, and I am a control freak. And uh, I, I, I really needed expert opinions, especially because I have no idea what I'm doing at all. Yeah. So we got engaged in September and around December, I was like, okay, maybe I should start thinking about bringing someone on. And I went through a few uh, wedding planners and like did the interview process, which is really crazy. And then we ended up deciding on the planner that we picked. His name is Jason. He's amazing. I met him. Did you meet him? At Coachella. Oh, at Coachella yeah. Yes. He's so nice. He's literally from like my hometown ish area. Yeah. He's also Korean. So we like have a lot of stuff in common and he's just really awesome. And like what I liked about him is, is he's very type A mm -hmm. and as someone like me, who's a micromanager, I don't have to micromanage him yeah. and I don't want to micromanage him. That's his job. So yeah. I, I don't want to ever overstep and offend him. So he's been killing it. And in the top of January, we had like our first kickoff meeting and uh, he was like, what are your, your non-negotiables? And I was like, non-negotiable for me was like the month I wanted to get married yeah. and uh, that I wanted it to be overlooking the ocean. Oh my God. And those were the only things which you would think are like, not that crazy, but I guess, it, I mean, well, it's helpful for him, but also like, I'm sure kind of not. And I'm not sure if you, maybe this is what you were kind of explaining earlier, but it's easy to think, oh, next year. But if you are wanting it 
a certain month that actually limits it so much. For sure. There's only how many weekends in a month? Yeah, there's freaking four. There's and four. then especially <laughs> four. literally four to five. <laughs> so I feel like that makes it, again, it's like, oh, that's next year. I feel like I do this a lot. And I'm like, oh, that's in August or, oh, that's so far away. And then it comes and you're like, oh my God, that was actually really quick. For sure. And also with wedding planning stuff, you have to book things out so far in advance because everybody's booking things out. Yeah. The wedding industry is crazy, especially after COVID from what I've heard is so expensive. I mean, I already knew it was expensive, but especially after COVID apparently, like there are some brides that I know that had locked their venues and things in before COVID. And then obviously had a push because of COVID, Mm -hmm. but were locked into COVID prices and they paid like half what you would pay now. Um, Oh, one, a thousand percent. I have a lot of friends who do wedding photography and they said just now they feel like it's mellowed out, but like for two years straight, every weekend they had a wedding because everything got pushed. pushed, So it's just like like a crazy mess. Yeah, And they're like, I finally feel like now things are like back to kind of like- for sure ish because i was looking for 2025 dates and that was a lot more open than obviously 2024 yeah everything in 2024 has been booked oh yeah and so uh in january i went in and did that meeting those are the only two things in cal which we could talk to him when he comes in because i'm actually curious cal's been so sweet he's just the nicest person in the world as we all know but he's very much like whatever you want, whatever yeah. you want. But I know there are specific things that he's going to die on the hill of. And like, as he should. Yeah. But you're like, let me can. know ahead of time. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. And like, there are certain things where I'm like, I know I have like uh, the dinner. I'm like, I know the the meal is what's yeah. really important to oh, me, yeah. obviously. I'm like, there's certain things that we've already discussed that we your really want. Your first dance and your entrance song, he's going to really care about. For sure. Yeah. Like music, music, you can cover that. And yeah. that's so fine. And I trust him. Um, <laughs> but, but when it's not Ariana Grande, you're going to be like, um. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have a list of songs that must be played. Okay, and other okay, than okay. that. I'll be chill. I'll be chill. <laughs> but we went to that meeting and then uh, for the past four months or five months, actually, right? No, four months. No, five months. My planner had gone through with the little, the two things that I said and narrowed down 30 different venues that like met wow. those stipulations that I and wanted. And that's why you're paying for it. You know oh what I mean? God, like if not, so you would have to do all that. Uh, for sure. Oh my God. Well, I know. I, I, know get so I, in, I was gonna say, I get so indecisive just booking like a hotel. I'm like, okay, well like it needs to be by this. And then, but then you're like, well, what about these dates? And then that changes everything. For and sure. then you got to look all over again. And then like, I, yeah. So I'm, wow. He narrowed it down to three. I know. And then from there, we narrowed 30 down to three, 30 down to three. but it was pretty easy actually. Cause it was just like right off the bat, you would like look at the photo and I'd be like, yeah. nah, or Kel would be like, nah. And like if it's not a hell yeah, you just know. know. Exactly. Yeah. And I will say you can absolutely plan a wedding without a planner. Like Kaylee's not using a planner and she's planning it all herself. It's going to be stunning. It's going to be amazing. Um, I just chose to, to bring one on. Not I know. everyone needs one though. Yeah, I think I definitely would need, you know, the the best people who wouldn't need one are the ones who have moms who are like Pinterest moms who just like can make anything, can like whip something. They're like, oh, you need centerpieces here. I can make them in in a day. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like those are the best types of people who like, Kaylee is a Pinterest girl. Yes, that's, and that's what I'm thinking. Thing. Also, she's so picky, like, and she's she wants to DIY everything. It's yeah. so funny because we keep talking to uh, Phil, who's her fiance, and then obviously Cal and I. And so we're always just like talking about their wedding. And she's always saying like, I'm going to drive up because I'm going to have so many crafts that I have to drive up. <laughs> and Phil's like, we need to fly. Like, we're not going to drive. She's like, I need a U-Haul for all of my crafts that oh I'm my bringing God. up. Like, yes. I don't know what you're talking about. So it really just depends. Oh yeah, because it's up north. Yeah. Duh. Oh yeah. my God. It really just depends on the person. But uh, yeah, we went and did our first venue touring last weekend and oh. we narrowed it down to three off that first list. And that was just like for the first area, essentially. Like we're doing more dates of uh, different like regions. Oh yeah. Well, it's kind of like house hunting. You can't like drive all over creation. It's like, we're going to check this area first. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, let's do like devote one day to this specific region. We'll look at a few there and then we'll do like another region another day and then, you know, we'll do them all because I want to be very particular. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, cause like when I bought a house, I was not as particular and now my house, uh, <gasps> was falling apart. I need to start thinking of your wedding gift. Oh, you don't, you <laughs> don't get me a wedding gift, please. Duh, Don't bitch. get me a wedding gift, Look at please. me in the eye. You, would you get me a wedding gift? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't get me a wedding gift. I am. I can't wait. What is it going to be? <laughs> oh my God. It needs to be so good. It does not. No, I don't need a wedding gift. Hey, so good doesn't mean expensive. So I, good I means just don't need a so gift. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Give me a hug. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he gave me a list of 30 
And then we narrowed it down to a few. Okay. And then we went and, and this was just for like one specific region. Uh-huh. And so we went and did like the first round of looking at venues that day. So we went and visited a couple of them and uh, it was really fun. I felt like I was like house hunting. Good. Like I really like, but did. you had fun. That's all that matters. It was so fun. It was, everybody was so nice. They gave me gifts, which was, I mean, okay. I know they're just trying to buy business. I know, obviously. but they better. Like if, if someone's rude, sorry, I bye. Like, I'll take the gifts. Absolutely. Um, and we saw a couple venues. I have to say, I don't think they were the ones, mm. but it was, I mean, just day one, obviously. And my planner the whole day just kept being like, day one, like this is our first well, day. Well, the thing about day one that's hard, which we'll probably feel tomorrow trying on dresses is like, yes. even if you think one is it, you are like, there's so much more I need to see. For sure. So I feel like going into it with that mindset helps. Cause I'm sure those were beautiful venues, but you're like, well, what else is there? I want to see, yeah. And I want to see like different also, my one thing is overlooking the ocean. The ocean is vast. There are so <laughs> many places and so many coasts that I could be on. But also that does narrow it down. For sure. Exactly. Yeah, so it made lot. it like easier and also I'm sure a little bit harder mm-hmm. at the same time. Um, but yeah, I don't think they were the ones, but they were beautiful regardless. In case you didn't know, Newly is a subscription clothing rental service that's all about helping you have fun. And you can even try pieces you've never thought you'd ever purchase. Sometimes I can have you know, a little bit of an impulsive shopping spree sometimes, or I will buy things very impulsively. And I definitely feel like I've been saving so much money. I love renting from Newly. Newly really lets me experience different styles in my wardrobe without a complete and completely expensive overhaul. Every month I get like six items from Newly's shared closet with over 17,000 styles for everything I have going on. Newly is awesome because they have dressy stuff for occasions, trending clothes for just going out, casual tops and premium jeans for hanging around, sweaters, outerwear, vacation fits, you name it. I am definitely the queen of like, oh, I have this event or, oh, I'm going to this wedding. I need to get a new outfit. No, we don't. I love that I get to try out trending styles, colors and silhouettes and then send them back for something new. I would love to try on different trends like, you know, flares, skinny, loose, whatever it is. Like obviously jeans are just so different for everybody. And I'd love to be able to, you know, test them out and see if I love them. And if I love them, I can buy them after. Because especially with jeans, I feel like sometimes when I just try them on, they fit different versus when I've actually worn them for at least a day, like the way that they stretch or whatever. So the idea of renting it is so nice. And seriously, it'll save you money. Also, the best part is that Newly takes care of everything from shipping to laundry. You can even pause without paying a fee if you need to take a break for whatever reason. And sometimes being in a subscription service, you can feel like you're locked in. But with Newly, it's super, super flexible. Newly is a great value at $98 a month for any six styles. But right now you can get $20 off your first month of Newly when you sign up with the code Pretty basic 20. Just go to N U U L Y dot com. That's newly with two U's and enter the code pretty basic 20. Sign up and get $20 off your first month. That's N U U L Y dot com. Newly with two U's with code pretty basic 20. Newly subscription clothing rental. Change your clothes. If you guys didn't know, Alicia and I just came back from New York and I was so busy this week with packing and vlogging and working and just, I've been so busy this entire month. I have not had time to get my nails done. And I've been really worried that one of my nails was gonna break because it's been so long. So I brought my impressed manis with me in my suitcase just in case. And it has everything in there that I could have needed in case I had an emergency from a nail file to 30 adhesive manicured nails that fit on any nail, nail prep pad and a manicure stick. It's so easy because you can just, you know, throw them in your bag or keep them at your house. And if you ever just want to switch it up, you've got them right there. I have never thought about having them as backup, like an emergency set until I was in your room and I saw them. I was like, oh my God, that's so smart and genius. I, however, did have like four boxes of the Impress Press on Falsies because you guys know they're my holy grails. It's like permanently in there just in case my lashes do need a little bit of volume. I had some natural ones, wispy ones, and also a voluminous packet. I know you're going to be obsessed with the Impress Falsies just like me because it's fast, mistake-proof application, so easy to remove. Literally today when I put on my, I was doing the ones on my right side. I like took them off three times and replaced them because I put them in like the slightest bit wrong angle and they still stuck. It's not like a one-time thing. Like it's seriously, oh my God, is perfect. It also doesn't leave any residue. And because it doesn't require glue, it doesn't damage your natural lashes. I feel so confident when I wear them. I think they're so beautiful. So visit impressbeauty.com slash basic and use code basic at checkout for 25% off impress manicure and press on falsies. Okay, guys, I know we all have that T-shirt that you are just constantly, consistently wearing. And then you obviously inevitably have to throw it into the laundry. And once it's done in the dryer, you are looking forward to wearing that T-shirt immediately. 
I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I do that. And I have a brand in mind, Alicia, on the count of three, say the brand of your favorite t-shirt. One, Ready? two, three. Skims. <laughs> you, you said it too fast. You said it on two. I knew you were going to say Skims, so I wanted to say it first. <laughs> you guys know I've been wearing Skims for years and I'm obsessed with the Skims soft, smoothing, seamless t-shirt and marble. I wear it on so many of my blogs and people are always commenting and asking me, you know, what t-shirt am I wearing? I love them. They're so soft and so supportive, but also not too restricting. It's just, it's so comfortable. And I can honestly say that skim shirts eat every time. It's the most flattering t-shirt that I've ever worn. I used to really think that just throwing on a t-shirt was just only for casual wear, but the fabric is so smooth that I can wear it for running errands. You know, I can dress them up with some nice slacks. I can dress it down with some jeans or some shorts or honestly, whatever. It's just so easy to just throw on and look cute. When you were talking about that one t-shirt you grab immediately, I was already thinking about the cotton jersey t-shirt. I believe the color, I have a few colors, but my favorite one is the mineral one. I kid you not, I reach for it almost every day. Ashley has stolen it so many times that I ended up just buying a new one and giving her my old shirt because I was like, you keep wearing this and stealing it from my closet and I, I can't find it when I need it. Shop the Skims t-shirt shop at skims.com, now available in sizes extra, extra small to 4X. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that we sent you. After you place your order, select podcast in the survey and select our show in the drop down menu that follows. Um, my one big thing that I've always said, I guess actually I had more than two stipulations was I'm not super into a ballroom wedding just yeah. because I do think ballrooms can be stunning. They're beautiful, but I do think a ballroom can feel like you could put a ballroom anywhere. Like yeah. we could be in Texas, we could be in Dubai, or you we know could what? be here. If you do a ballroom, we're going to make sure it's like a cheaper place. Like you're not going to get a ballroom at the Spend Ritz so or like much. at like the, that, what was the Laguna one that, um, Oh, 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 the, do you know what I mean? What was the montage? The mon like it's yes. like, why pay so much for it to look also ballrooms are, I think harder to decorate because it's just a room. Yeah. I I, under, I I would agree with that. Also, I'm like, do I want to do a hotel where like everything's there? Or there are so many venues where it's really nice because it's a blank canvas, but you have to bring in flooring. You have to bring in bathrooms. Yeah. You have to bring in all, bring in all those things. Bathrooms? Yeah. Depending oh. on like the location that you pick. See, I know nothing. I mean, I don't know either. And so it just kind of depends. But uh, right now we haven't found the place yet we're still looking but it was a really fun first day to yeah. try and see uh and it was just really fun like it was just a nice time on the way when, when we were driving up Cal was so cute he was like listening to music and he like turns down he's like okay like what's our game plan like what are we gonna look for you know like what are non-negotiables non for you and like it was just it was a really cute bonding experience for us I for love sure it. it was really sweet and um yeah that was like the wedding venue search experience and then tomorrow we're starting the wedding dress experience which I kept telling my vlog, I was like, I know I did that first meeting in January, but like this past weekend of searching for venues, like starting that like officially feels like it's starting, like it's real because yeah, once we lock down the venue, then we're then you can also have to find start, the dress and the You can food. start picturing it all. I know. It's like you always have dreamt every, you know, most people have dreamt of their weddings for a long time, but you kind of don't know what it looks like. Yeah. But now to actually picture like, this is the aisle I'm going to walk down. This yeah. is the dress I'm going to, like that brings it all to life, which is so exciting. I'm like, I'm really excited. I'm also a little bit overwhelmed already, but I'm just someone who gets overwhelmed easily. But the venue I feel fine with, I, the dress has been something that I have not been looking forward to for a long time. And I talked about this, like I touched on it on a recent episode, um, but it was more of like a, an afterthought. But now that like we have to begin, I'm, I'm nervous. But tomorrow we're going to this brand called Azazi, which I'm really excited, Azazi Bridal. Um, and they reached out to work with me, which I'm so excited for and I'm very grateful for. And I'm actually like, I'm so grateful that this is my first experience that we're starting with something so amazing and inclusive because I, my biggest fear with bridal things and dressing dresses specifically is that it has not felt inclusive when I've gone dress shopping with other friends. And so I've been really, really nervous, but I have to say as ozzy has been, and this is not sponsored on this podcast, let me just say that, but they actually have like dresses in a size range that, so I'm not nervous to go in tomorrow. Good. I'm not, but I'm so nervous to shop at other places in LA because from what I've seen, I talked about this before and I just need to like do my research beforehand and like call the, pl the places. But from what it seems like when I've gone in with like Lauren or Kaylee who are, um, you know, a smaller body size than I am, uh, 
they're like, some of the dresses like don't even fit them or they fit perfectly. Most of them honestly fit them perfectly. And I'm like, well, that would not have fit me. Like yeah. that's what I'm thinking of a lot of the time. I'm like, they look so beautiful. They look amazing. Then also on the other half, I'm like, wow, I'm going to be so embarrassed if I can't get this dress up my thigh. Oh no. But I, like, that's, that's what I've been thinking. You know, I get it. Me and your mom will be there tomorrow. Well, tomorrow <laughs> they have my sizing already. And, like, and they've been amazing and actually have a vast variety of sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, I'm not nervous about tomorrow at all. Mm -hmm. But I, I, and I'm just assuming, and I have to say, I haven't ever called the other dress shops that I've been to. Maybe they yeah. do have other sizes in the back and I'm just assuming. It's just yeah. hard when well, the girls also, like pick up the dress off the rack. They're like this one. And then they come out and it fits them perfectly. Yeah, and I'm like, I get that. That wouldn't have fit me. I will say I've, I, I do feel like I'm... I would assume because there's so many dresses for bridal stuff, like when you make an appointment, they pull out your sizes, right? Yes. I was talking to Lauren about this because I was telling her, I was like, I'm about to start. I'm really nervous. Like Don't be. when I went with you, like everything fit you so well, or, you know, if it was a little too big, like they had like a clip and she's like, oh my God, no, I think they have sizes in the back. I was like, oh, I'm pretty I sure they bring out the dresses in the size, but they better fucking have that size. Yeah. And also yeah. if they don't and they're a bitch about it, like buy, like, maybe they literally have, buy. Maybe they have like three sizes of like a really small, a medium, and then like a large size so mm -hmm. that you know they can clip it or they can like do maybe I yeah. don't know I, I don't know how the wedding dress shops work well, but as but someone who's like a size 10 12 and like right now I'm a 10 12 last year I was a size 14 like that would have it wouldn't have fit me like I would have yeah. been so nervous nervous and so I know a lot of people listening I'm sure have similar very similar experiences I've talked about it on blogs before too and a lot of people said oh my god Rem you just have to like make sure you go to a shop that like carries yeah. it so I'm, I'm gonna call do ahead research. yes we can do research we can figure out what like what style you're leaning towards and like find people because the last thing also but like you should never feel embarrassed because you wouldn't tell that to me. You wouldn't be like, oh yeah, you should be embarrassed. Like, it's like, fuck them if they yeah. are like, make you feel less than about it. I think what just sucks. And again, I'm maybe I'm just assuming that I'm just simply going off of picking it off the rack and they would try that one on. Yeah. Like, that's maybe they have more sizes in the back, but also those dresses are so big. How big is the back room? Like, yeah. I've just thought all the stuff beforehand. Um, all I know is whoever Remy ends up wearing on her wedding day is going to be so fucking lucky. <laughs> like, so, like, re, like honest. And you're going to look fucking gorgeous. So it's like all this in between doesn't matter. We just need to find the dress is out there. It's yes. made. It's literally made. Yes. Sitting somewhere right now. And we just have to find her. I think. Yes. And I. <laughs> Thank you. We could bring Sati too. I just, oh, my queen. She's about to give birth. <laughs> oh, she's yes. busy. She's she, on maternity she's a little leave. Busy. She'll be free next year though. <laughs> Unless she's got another baby on the way. Then she won't be free. I think it just, what makes me sad is that like I, and people who are not a, like a very small size, like this isn't something that we have to think about. And yeah. I hate that this is something we have to think about. No, but yeah. all is good. I'm excited for tomorrow because they already have my size. They're like, they've been so accommodating and sweet and like what an amazing place to start the journey. Um, but you are coming to help me capture some content. And then I'm starting with my family. Uh, my mom, my dad, which I know not pe people don't often bring their dads, but I want to bring my dad. Yeah. I love my dad so much. And so he can come to the first one and then he can be surprised on the actual wedding yeah. day. But, um, and he won't know what I pick obviously, but I just, I want to include my parents. I feel like I'm at this place side tangent conversation of just like I'm at the age and I have been especially for the past couple of years but like especially right now I'm like I am obsessed with my parents and I don't know how much more time we're gonna have it's so weird getting older don't want to cry um which is why I was like hey I'm coming on your trip yeah. <laughs> like I want to I want to make these memories like I don't care if people think that it's weird that I'm bringing my dad like I want those it's memories not weird at all okay, oh my god. god I wasn't sure if it was I, honestly I would bring my dad to one okay like if I was talking family thing right okay good that makes me feel better also but especially more than care. like I'm not like I'm just speaking that, like vastly I know so many people who have had weddings and like they're not even close to like their bridesmaids anymore or whatever and it's mm -hmm. like you'd rather bring a family member versus like a potential someone who you may not even talk to in 10 years you know what I mean Oh, I don't really think about that either. I'm like, even if God forbid you and I, me and someone else in my bridal party, like had a big falling out, I'm sure it would be, it would be hurtful and it'd be sad. And I'm sure looking at the photos would make me sad. But at the same time, like I'm asking these people to be in my bridal party because you, you want them are there. a huge part. Exactly. You're yeah. a huge part of my life currently right now. And yeah. that's what mattered to me in the moment. Um, if it actually happened, I'm sure like, it'd be a lot more emotional, but yeah. I, um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited for my dad to come. My aunt's coming too. I asked my grandma, but, um, she's just 
getting older and so she wants to see the final thing well it's just like right now driving for her like getting being in long car rides is hard because yeah. she's getting older so she can't make it but i'll facetime her in oh my god yeah um i'm bringing my light i hope you know you're gonna bring your light. You bring the big light that I use on the, on the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> these ones? Yeah, these no, ones. I'm gonna bring my little like phone one. You don't have be to. Good. No, oh, I am. I'm taking this so seriously. I I'm a, I asked the right girly to, to help me capture the content. My That's wedding for sure. present to you. I'm kidding. <laughs> to you. That'll be my wedding present. Oh no, there'll be more adoring. This Aww. is the first one. My mom called call me today. She's like, what's a good waterproof mascara? I need to go to Sephora. Oh, better than sex. She keeps just crying. Waterproof. Um, oh really? And let me know what mm. to wear. Like, are you having everyone dress up? Like, oh, uh, do you want us in a th color theme? No. Bitch, you can do whatever you want. Tell us to come in PJs. We can come in PJs. Wait, cute. Like we could do whatever you want. I don't, wear whatever you want. I really don't care. No, no. What should I wear? White. But like, should I wear like a dress to go dress shop? Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe I'll wear the one from the basically PJs. unfiltered shoe. I've been waiting to wear that one yeah. again. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh yes. no, my bruise. We'll cover it. Okay. Bitch, I'll get the cover. The Alicia, tattoo. Alicia, Alicia Marie. Makeup by Alicia Marie. Yeah. Wait. Oh, what oh, wait, a horrible. Fuck. With white dresses though. Yeah, you can't probably do that. Because oh, you're not supposed no. to wear them. It's okay. We can, I can face tune every single photo we take. Damn. That sucks. It's okay. It's fine. I'm literally fine. Um, but yes, okay. Wedding dress shopping has begun tomorrow. Um, I'm I'm very excited. I feel like it's a really good environment for me to begin my journey in. I do too. And I think any I'm excited, worries actually. that you have once you get there and you realize like it's all just love and like all of us are there to like be experience it with you. Yeah. And it's less of like modeling for clothes sure. for to strangers. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I also appreciate them wanting to work with me as someone who's not a size zero. Yeah. And I feel like so many, when I look at, like I've been looking at all these like bridal um, magazines and like I'm subscribed to like a lot of the the showrooms out here and they're all like all the trunk show emails yeah. I get, they're all like tiny, tiny. And um, I'm just excited. I'm really, I feel very grateful. You're going to look stunning. I'm going to cry tomorrow. I already know. <laughs> How should I do my hair? How? Oh my God, should I get glam? You should, <laughs> yes, you should put up your, put your hair how you like think you would want it. Like if you're like, oh, I for sure want to updo, like put it in like a up. So you can just kind of picture how it'll look with the dress. You know? This is so stressful. No, it's fun. <laughs> or I'll bring my vanity no, kit. fun. I'll bring my vanity kit. And you're like half up. I'm like, hey, and I'll whip up a half up look. Oh my. And then, and then you want a bun. I'm like, let me just whoosh, Put it up in Delaney bun. Childs comes in. You bring her in. I'm like curling Throw iron. it up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you come out of the dressing room every time looking so different. <laughs> <laughs> We're like there for seven hours. Yeah. They're just like, Damn. You're like, you done yet? I'm like, almost. <laughs> you come out with curls <laughs> and your hair was straight before. You put extensions in. <laughs> I have a wig. <laughs> oh my God. How Yay. exciting. Yeah, yeah. I'm really so you excited. Need to wear white. Okay, I'll wear white. Um... I like and don't know how to be a bride. Like it feels so weird, especially because the past year of my life, I feel like I've been like helping friends yeah. or like been like the bridesmaid or like, you know, being around it. It feels weird for me to be like, it's my turn. Like I don't, I don't have that mindset at all. No, that's okay. Honestly, it probably makes it better because it's less stressful. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like true. your wedding will be like catered to you so like this is you going dress shopping I know and I'm like not in that mindset at all like I feel it feels so weird I'm still also in the midst of right now planning Kaylee's bachelorette yeah that's probably another thing I'm yeah I'm like I don't even want to do this like I need I have to focus on the bachelorette yeah. like why am I going dress shopping no but I have be so to because good. of time I'm glad purposes. we're starting it yeah because there will probably be more mm -hmm. no there's yeah. okay yeah 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 there's gonna be but definitely at least you a might few. find the one tomorrow like you might. I didn't even think that. I keep thinking like, I'm gonna do like 17 rounds of things. Oh no. But I mean, it could happen. But that's why we need footage of every single one in case you're like, what one was option B? And the I'll be Remy like, here's B. Here, oh, I'll make a whole board. I'll be like, okay, PowerPoint, <laughs> boom. This one, if your hair's up, it'll look like this, AI it. If you want your hair to put it down, it'll look like you're this. Like, hold on, rendering. <laughs> <laughs> it's loading. Right now, how do we feel? Okay, mm -hmm. do we want a true white, like an ivory, or more of like a, a eggshell? I don't. What do you think I should do? Crisp white. I like a crisp white. I, I love think. Crisp white. But like Kay, who has a very pale complexion and yeah. red hair, can't do like pure white. She yeah. had to be more aware of, of that. ivory. So moment. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, she is an ivory girl. <gasps> oh my god. So we we'll should see. look up um, like movies or shows or anything that like puts you in the wedding dress, like bridesmaids or like some obviously like. That's like a funny one, but like- Bride Wars is my personal Bride fave. Wa should we watch it? 
okay, we can watch it tonight. <gasps> That'd be fun. That would be really fun. Like, like little, I guess I should get into the yeah, wedding Yeah, I feel like little things like that is what gets you into the mood. Yes. I music or like like a little playlist of like getting ready for like what? Like, I just, that's so fun. I do know what song I'm going to walk down the aisle to. I've known that for like a decade now. Um, <gasps> Sorry, Cal. He already knows. Oh, perfect. I probably told him like our, on our f- first date. Um, <laughs> it, was your, it was your hinge prompt. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I should have. My, the one thing that I'm looking forward to most though is the food trial. Oh yeah. I cannot wait. Cooking with Remy is going to be very particular. That's the thing I'm going to be the most particular about. Honestly, as you should. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. Excited for the cake testing. Cause like, obviously I get to eat cake. Uh, mm, other than that, I'm excited. Do you want a cake? I know some people. Oh yeah. I'm going to be very traditional. Yeah. I like, there are certain, like, there are things that I'm going to, I've always wanted. And I think it's going to be a very traditional wedding. I told Remy this yesterday, but because I started finding random wedding things and I would send them to you, um, my for you is now turning into wedding stuff. And I know because there's so many things I need to send you now. I'm like, oh my God, this is a great, ex- I almost showed you, I kept bothering um, Remy when we were coming back from New York <laughs> you on the flight. bothering me. Because she's like watching a movie and I'd be like, I was being my mom to me because she'll like, I'll be like, mom, I'm trying to watch a movie. But I was like, look at this TikTok. And it was like, use safety pins to put on your round tables when you're making your seating chart. And I thought that was such a good hack. And then I went to show you and you were watching your beautiful movie. And I was like, Alicia, stop. So I didn't show you because I was like, I can tell her later. It's like, you could have told me, I think I should just probably put you in my group chat with the planner. (gasps) I would love. And you can just send them. No, because you know what would happen? The chat just dies one day. And I'm like, oh, weird. No one's replying. And then there's a whole new one made. <laughs> I don't want to ever want to be that friend. Right now it's called RNC wedding. RNC and A wedding. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'll keep everyone what updated on the journey. Around? Or me either. Oh, want me to pick you up? Do you want me to pick you up? No, I'll come pick you up. Are you? You're wait. on the way. I think. I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss. We'll discuss after. Um, yeah, but Cal will come on. We can do a little Q&A of all the stuff. And... I wish I had more updates. I don't have any more updates other than that, but I'm I'm excited about the journey tomorrow. If you had to lean towards like, I don't even know what all bridal dress styles there are. Girl, like silhouettes. Me either. Like, is there one you've always envisioned yourself in since you were little? I mean, no, but I have to say, oh, okay, actually. Or a movie. As we all know, I love Megan Trainer. Yeah. And when she dropped her song, Marry Me, which the music video was her wedding video. Iconic. I distinctly remember you making me sit down and watching the whole thing. And I was like, this and will be I my wedding. And if I reached for my phone, you'd be like, no. <laughs> and, and I took It's notes. so beautiful. It was beautiful. I like, when that came out, that was a, definitely like a few years ago. I remember watching it and being like, that dress is what I want. The wedding is what I want. And I'm going to be honest. I watched it again like a week ago and I was like, oh, I've changed my mind. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that's not what I want anymore. Still beautiful, just like different than what I want. Um, but at the time that I thought that like her dress exactly was what I wanted. Copy I thought paste. all of it. Yeah, I, I really thought I was gonna do all that. You I, know what I don't think there's anything. It, though, is like once you find your significant other, like picturing them a part of it too. Yeah. Like, I feel like that has to make a difference. Right? For sure. I think, yeah. I mean, maybe to some degree. I, I really, Cal is so whatever you want, whatever you yeah. want, which I am so appreciative of. But I also, I was just telling him recently, this is like, this has nothing, nothing to do with the wedding, but um, I know he always just wants me to be happy. Mm-hmm. And so every conversation that we have, I'm like, well, what do you want to eat for dinner? And he's like, whatever you want. Or, you know, where do you want to go? Like, what do you want? Do you and want? I, Which I've always appreciated. And I know like the intent is so nice, but recently I was like, hey, if there's ever anything that you want or you want to eat or you want to do, like I would appreciate you telling me because I want you to also have a say. Like yeah. it actually puts more pressure on me when you say you don't know because I want to make sure you're still happy. Yeah. And so we've we've gotten to a better place now. Oh, where, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which same with the wedding stuff. I was like, I understand you don't really care. Yeah. But if there's anything that you really, really want other than the red yeah. suit, then you let me know. But you know, <laughs> other than the bright red suit with the top hat and the cane. Yeah, yeah but, but other than that, <laughs> I'm, I'm walking all down ears, the aisle baby. with some swag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. Oh my God, that's so funny. I'm but. excited. <sighs> you, you think of how you feel for Kaylee. Like, that's how we all feel for you. That's you know so what nice. I mean? And like, <laughs> just take the love. I take the love. I appreciate it. I'm very excited. And we'll see how it goes. (gasps) We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we need to look up fun, like, wedding 
pre stuff. I think the one thing, and this may be like tacky or trashy of me to do. I know I should spend the wedding like saying hi to everyone and no. hanging out. Sorry. I know. I think I, I actually like really want to be like, I just want to have a good time. And so I really might say hi, say bye so fast and just like actually enjoy the night. Cause any big party that I've thrown, I spend the whole night like making small talk, which is so fine. But then I'm like, oh, the whole night is gone. And I didn't spend, I didn't have fun. You know, it could be kind of cool. You know, mm, let me think, let me think, let me think. Like, if there's a designated, if, if you tell your planner, I want to see these 10 people, mm -hmm. your grandma, your, you know, like those people. Yeah. And then other than that, just like when you're doing photos, like he can grab them to say hi to you guys versus when you're on the floor, people just like coming up and stuff. I like that. I will say also, I think. Um, also, sorry. I know you, even every single one of your birthdays, you're just like, I want to make sure everyone, like they, you think everyone and then you don't enjoy the actual party. Yeah. So I. I understand, obviously, it's polite to say hi to everyone, but it is a full time, especially with a bigger guest list. Like, you could literally spend hours just talking to people and you want to sure. dance and enjoy this beautiful day, you know? And I, people understand. I, I was going to say, if I went to a wedding and I did not talk to the bride or groom, I would not be offended at all. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, they're busy and I had a fun time. Yeah. So I'm going to try and keep that in mind so I don't stress too much. Yeah. Oh my God. Also, you can give one big speech. You can be like, thank you guys all for coming. Yeah. I feel like not many brides do that, but like, really? I, f I feel like it. <sighs> be like, thank you guys so much for coming. I seriously love every single one of you. How do you feel about giving a speech at my wedding? Oh, I'd love it. Really? Yeah. Okay, good. But I don't I don't have to. I'm just keeping that in the back <laughs> of my mind. But Kaylee also, called me. She's like, I think you'll have to give a speech. I was like, fuck. Oh, it's my worst. At least. Not my worst nightmare for Kaylee. Like, I love Kaylee so much. I just hate public speaking so much. Oh, no. Much. We can workshop it. It'd be so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have such good stories, too. Uh, I love her so much. Even a joke about, like, Thank God you married a lawyer because I used him when my house, you know what I mean? Like that was Me the moment. Me, and all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. I remember. Oh, I remember the first time I met you. I love when they rap. Like when yes. they, the ones that go viral, I won't be rapping, but. No, yeah. When they're like funny and like you kind of embarrass them a little bit. There's yeah. like a good, there's like a perfect sweet. Dance. There's a formula to it. Yeah. There's like, it can't be too long. It can't be too short. You got to have a couple jokes thrown in there, but they're like, you know, you get three jokes. Mm-hmm. Intro, body, conclusion, done. Mm -hmm. We'll see though. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Overall, I'm really excited. I'm definitely nervous, but I think as time goes on, I think more so as a control person, like knowing nothing is stressing me out. I think once we start, like yeah. I'm so good at, I'm very decisive. If you give me an option A or option B, I can tell you in a millisecond what I want. Um, I just haven't been able to make those choices yet. So I think a lot being up in the air is just that makes so stressing much more me a sense. bit. But also it's so nice that it's being handled. I haven't even started anything yet because I'm like, it's the calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. All to say, I'll keep you guys posted. Clarifying shampoo. Oh my God, it is so good. The how's the rice water oh. situation? So good. Bitch. Come over for a spot, eh? <gasps> Which a little, oh, uh, wait. Well, hair. The, did you see Beyonce did a video showcasing like yes. her real hair? And it's so long. And she shut those haters down. She really, she said, boom. So um, ever since the hair launch, they were like, hey, like you need to come into the sacred salon because they do have a salon where they're oh, like, wow. do your hair, get a blowout, whatever. Oh, how nice. And um, we had it scheduled maybe three weeks ago at this point. And I forget what came up. I forget if... I thought I was getting sick or um, something else came up. And I was, um, I had called my manager that morning. I was like, hey, I'm so, so, so sorry to do this last minute. But like, I ha I can't go to this. Um, can we please reschedule? Yeah. Um, I was like, but I can, I remember saying I can rally. Like if you, if, I, if this is a make or break, I will fucking rally yeah. and make. So I couldn't have been sick because I feel like I would have been like, no, like. Just a scheduling conflict. In. I forget what it was. Um. She calls back. She's like, hey, we were able to reschedule it. I don't hear anything. And then when Ollie and I were driving to Coachella Weekend 2, I had my weekly with my manager. So she calls me and she's just giving me every Thursday. We have like 30 minutes for updates, as you know. Um, and we're talking about other things, other potential deals coming in, long-term goals, et cetera. And she goes, oh, also, um, we were able to reschedule your, your sacred hair event. Sorry, hair blowout at the salon. Um, it's this day at this time, it's in your calendar. And I go, okay, perfect. Like, sounds good. I've seen 
Tina, Beyonce's mom, drop in on certain people. I've seen some clips online. I've seen Beyonce stop by for certain people. I don't, I'm happy with anyone. I'm truly, even if it's Beyonce's assistant, ass, assistant's assistant, I'm stoked. And it's by the time this episode comes out. Oh my God, I think it happens the day this episode comes Is out. Is this salon like big? I don't know. I'm like, maybe it's like really small. Maybe it's intimate. Like oh imagine my God. Beyonce. Oh my God, wait, 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 guys. The day that this, oh no. The day you're listening to this episode, it it would already have happened because I'm going next on next Wednesday. <gasps> so I'm like, or this coming Wednesday, so less than a week. So I'm like really excited, but I'm also like have low expectations, but also at the same time, I'm just happy to be there. So I'm just like, what? But I'm gonna- Low expectations. Because, but no matter what, stoked. My sister Ashley and her boyfriend love to cook together. And I love that they love cooking for me. <laughs> that is my favorite favorite thing. They're both just homebodies and love staying in and watching a movie and cooking. And she was using my caraway frying pan and saute pan. It was literally raving to me about just how easy it was and to clean. And I told her all of the caraway products are made without any toxic materials like PFAS, PTFE, PFOA, or any other of the really hard to pronounce chemicals. <laughs> my mom's always been so cautious about that growing up. She'd be like, make sure it doesn't have like this on it because it has this chemical. And honestly, it just provides comfort to us that these brands are actually, you know, not including these harsh chemicals in any of their products. I also saw a Pinterest recipe of the iconic Carbone Spicy Rigatoni recipe. Um, it seemed easy enough that I could do. So I might have to have you taste test it, Remy. I should do a video where I cook for you. I, know I we talk would about love it a lot. that. I, why am I kind of nervous? I feel like you're like, you know, master chef Remy Gordon Ramsay over here. <laughs> I would love it. No, I'm sure it'd be good. You're a good cook. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get why you're nervous though. I think you're a really good cook. And just as a reminder, their internet famous cookware set comes with the saute pan, fry pan, Dutch oven, and saucepan, plus lids for all of them, a canvas lid holder, and magnetic pan rack for storage. It's the ultimate kitchen setup and will save you $150 versus buying the items individually. Plus, if you visit carawayhome.com slash pretty basic, you can take an additional 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners. So visit carawayhome.com slash pretty basic or use code pretty basic at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. If you are listening to this and you love to wear gold, you probably didn't know that it's gold month. On May 1st to May 31st, Macy's is taking 45% off gold earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and more. If you guys watch Alicia's vlogs, you know that she's become quite the gold girl. I have. And she has influenced me to also expand my horizons and maybe try gold a little bit more. I'm not even kidding. I was going to buy a pair of 14 karat gold hoop earrings recently. I lost an earring on our New York trip right before our big meeting. And I was really, really, really sad about it. So I'm going to check the Macy's website. And I have a lot of people in my life who love gold. I'm thinking of someone very specifically right now who may or may not have um, a very important event coming up. And I might have to get her a little bit gift. If you're listening, you know who you are. Me? I'm kidding. Well, <laughs> maybe, it's maybe you, <laughs> maybe somebody else that also has another big event. Uh, she, actually, I can guarantee she's not listening, but she will love them, I'm sure. And so will Alicia when I buy them for her too. <laughs> I love how it wasn't me, but I really just made that all about me. <laughs> um, no, definitely going to go check that out. I, I really have been loving my stackable rings for a long time. And once I switched over to gold, I was like, well, now I have to be able to have a full set so I can fully switch them all out. You know what I mean? So um, I really just never take off my rings. And I feel like even when I'm in the shower, I just never really take them off. And I just need good quality ones that won't turn my fingers green. That is absolutely girl math. And I am living for it. If you've been eyeing any gold jewelry, go to Macy's.com and save 45% off and show me what you got during the Macy's gold month. Either, either way, it's amazing. But low expectations because then when it happens, it's going to be so much more exciting. I'm like, what? like, I just don't understand. I'm like, I don't understand how this shit happened. I just can't believe like you literally run. Oh my fucking God. We didn't even talk about Lana. Oh no. Oh my God. We didn't even talk about Lana. It's because we did on our other podcast. That's the only thing that's been hard about having two podcasts. I already was like, who did I tell this to? Was it my podcast, my brain, my best friend, Ashley, like my yeah. vlog, my TikTok. Yeah. Now adding a second podcast in, I'm like, We'll get into that after. Also because like, I love the guys, but they're not as like, oh my God, and then what, and then what, and yeah, then yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Or it's definitely, like, that podcast goes so quickly. Yeah. I feel like I'm constantly just like trying to like- Keep up. Keep up. Me and too. I'm also just like talking. So I'm like, so like if something will be heard. Yeah. Cause <laughs> yeah. But like, you're so quiet. Well, there's quiet. four of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's so hard I've to learned, get something in. I know I've learned. I'm like, I just have to like really put get my in opinion there. in there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. No. It's what I meant to say though is- I just can't believe you run in these circles of the most A-list celebrities 
who know you, who love you. And that's amazing. That's insane. Sorry, my face right now. I don't get it. I truly don't get it. I'm not, I'm truly not cool. Like I'm not like, I get it. You're my best friend. You're going to hype me up. I wasn't going to say her. (laughs) She was going to agree. Yeah, you're right. You're pretty lame. No, but honestly we are like compared to other people. (laughs) No, I like, why? It's not a cool factor thing. It's, it's just that you make content and you are, are a comfort person to them. Like that's what it is. It's not a cool thing. You are cool to me, obviously, but I do (laughs) agree. So cool to me. (laughs) I agree us compared to a lot of other people. We are not cool. And I understand that. And that's okay. And we will never be cool. But- And even if no one comes, truly, again, if even if it is- No, it's, it's the fact that you were invited to go to the salon. It's the really? fact that you were invited to go to the birthday show. It's the fact that Blue Ivy came up to you and said that she thinks you're funny and she likes your videos. Like, it's not about who's coming to the salon, which is still cool. I just don't get it because they're so much cooler than me. Blue? Yes! Oh, I'm- Like, duh. Yeah, they're all cooler like, than us. I'm just like, why me? It's like, because you- make them happy. You interest them. Like it doesn't matter if you're cool or not. It really doesn't. It's that you are, you make them feel something and they like that. Whether it's that you make them feel safe, you make them feel accepted, you make them feel happy, you make them laugh, like whatever it is, they're coming back around and that's cool. And also at the end of the day, yes, Lana is a fucking icon. Yes, Beyonce is an icon. Yes, Blue is an icon. They are all, they're just like normal people also at the end of the day. Totally. Totally. And I get that, but it's just, it's weird. It's weird. It's cool. It's cool, but it's weird. It's cool. It's not weird. It's cool. I will. I've, again, I said this forever ago, but like, if anything, it makes me feel so much better for just like, except like not trying so hard to like be a, me being more confident about, and comfortable yeah. in who I am. You, you not trying to be something else that you're not like you just being authentically who you are obviously enticed them which is crazy because i felt like for so many years i tried not being who i was yeah, because i'm like that's I'm, what I was thinking. I'm such a baddie like ugh, alicia scalicia who we don't know her like oh embarrassing and now i'm just like oh my god i hi i'm literally 30 30 years old and sometimes i act like i'm still 22 but like it's fine 20 20 i don't know like a fucking kid i'm not like uh anyway wednesday is happening by the time this comes out it probably has already happened and again even if i go and no one comes i will still be stoked what would you say i don't know (laughs) do you think that you would just be because here's the thing you've already had conversations now with both of them like could you be cool now and like just be (laughs) like hey like how have you been like is that weird i I, I feel like they would appreciate that i feel like i don't even i don't know i haven't thought about it how if you were just like small talk like oh my god i love your shoes like you know something like that (laughs) where it's like less like you've changed my life. I'm obsessed with yeah. you. Like, you know what I mean? Or you could literally be like, oh my God, the clarifying shampoo is incredible by the way. Like yeah. I've been loving, like, I think she'd really like that. Like the versus, like actual, yeah. Cause you've already had that moment and you should have that moment. Yeah. But like, since you've had it already, like what if you, like maybe that will get you to the next level. So maybe the next time no. she'd be like, oh my God. I just can't believe I hey, put girl. meeting Beyonce on my vision board. And literally like you made me speak it out loud on this podcast that I would meet her. Yeah. And I was so scared to say it. What else do you want? No, uh, uh, we can't get there right now. We can't get there. I can't. Yes, you can. Uh, say it. I want a date to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. The way that means you thought about this. You know what's funny is that was actually the first thing that came to my head. Isn't that so good? You know what's so funny? When I was writing the guest list, I like put you as a date. Like I put a date for you as the guest count. And I was like, I don't know Realistically. Well, just like everybody in in my life right now that doesn't have a date. I was like, I have to account, but also like, what if not? No, unless we're like, I'm like engaged to someone, then they can have that spot. You don't have to be engaged. Remy, this is the wedding of the century. It's literally the royal wedding. Um, I don't care what anyone else says. This is literally the like, wedding of the fucking decade you don't need to be engaged to bring somebody oh well so i've had a lot of friends who like once they are dating like they had a friend who wanted a plus but like they people say no ring no bring yeah i've heard that like so i think it's a case-by-case scenario like obviously if you have a boyfriend that you've been seeing yeah well also it's like photos like what if you've only been seeing each other for like a month like what happens if you guys break i'll tell them to stand at the end yeah. Well, <laughs> well, case by case scenario, we'll figure it out. A but lot can change in a year. Look in the camera and say, say it. I'm going to have a date to Remy's wedding. Here's the thing. What I've learned about manifesting is that it always happens a little different than you expect. It's true. Maybe Ollie will be my date. That happens. We'll say you want a date that's not Ollie. I'm going to bring my boyfriend to Remy's wedding as my date. Yes. Who's going to be a straight man. Yes. <laughs> or a bisexual man. Like, or a pansexual <laughs> man. But we could, that, not that, Ollie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we get it an actual love interest okay you know love that you know that means it's gonna happen now You're and right pharrell's gonna perform at my wedding <laughs> i was just telling someone about the pharrell lore the other day with my birthday did you tell your aunt we have the same birthday Oh, no, I didn't. You, I'll we'll tell her tomorrow. They look amazing. I just looked at them. They look great. Thank you. Wow. I mean, it's kind of open. It's kind of covered on camera. We meant to update everybody, but we talked about this on Basically Unfiltered already. What happened with Lana? Okay. I'm going to do the quick spark notes of it because- um, No, you have to go into it because we we did uh, the unveiling of the of the wristband here. Oh, you're so right. I We owe it to pretty basic listeners yeah. instead. Sorry, my socks are just like, woo. Um, so- <laughs> I have the same socks. You know what? They're probably yours that I stole. Oh, are they good though? They are really good. Yeah, I love them. Are they hot? Hue, yes. Amazon Hue crew socks. They have short legs. They're perfect for everybody. I, I like to do like a short crew sock. Yeah, they're perfect. Know? Okay, Um. long story short, Remy, so Long story long. Long story Give long. Give them the details. They want them. We go to weekend two because mm-hmm. Remy gave the tickets, as you guys know, because Tweet. that was this was a few weeks ago. I'm so sorry. I should have um said this sooner. Kind of forgot. Tweet. I try to black out this shit because it's just like, I can't believe that happens. Tweet. Remy set up the tickets. <laughs> Twee gave us the tickets. Go stream Twee. And I am not kidding. We actually got to hang out with her. I saw she brought you guys into the artist. She That's did. crazy. Like the artist trailers. Like is the trailer. She was like, have you been over here? And we we're like, no, why would we? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen, did you see any other artists in there? Um, no, but her trailer was right next to Ray's trailer. And oh, I love Ray. Cool. So I was just like, we were literally, we were standing or using the table in front of Ray's trailer because they were gone by then. Um, and we were sitting there and I was like, this is just crazy. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, and we got to hang out with Twee, which was really awesome. And she fucking killed it. But was it after her set? Or yeah. before? Oh, it was, um, yeah, yeah. So Friday we get there, um, we go, we get into artists in the front section and we honestly are just there day, from Sabrina Carp- Carpenter all the way to Lana. Wow. Um, because five hours. Oh, we were there a long time. Thank God I wear my Crocs. Thank God, shout out to Crocs. The platforms. Also, I got compliments. Like people are like, it's really cute. And I'm like, he. Thanks. I love Crocs. I just like the way my feet hurt so bad from weekend one. There was no way I could have done anything else other than the Crocs. And it worked out great. Um, I remember like we got food. I got a drink. I should have got more food because I actually did start feeling like heat strokey, like um, nauseous towards the end of the night. And I realized, but also, you know, we didn't really want to like have to pee too much because we didn't want to have to like move and like you know, whatever. We talk about Emma too. Oh my God. Yes. That's so funny. Oh, the first funny thing that happened is while we were at Sabrina Carpenter, um, we were kind of like close to the barricade wall ish, but not really because I told Ollie, I was like, look, we can sit over in VIP under a tree, or we can just stand here because we're going to have to sit somewhere and wait. Like we might as well be where you really want to end up. You know, like I'm, I'm here for the ride. So we're there early. So Sabrina's on around like six ish. And I see Emma Chamberlain like run into the middle part where like only like friends can be basically or like production people. And I was like, oh my God, Emma, like I should, I should say hi. You know, we've had her on the podcast. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Um, So I kind of like move past people who are by the barricade and to like, to get her attention to say hi. But obviously like there's so many fans trying to get her attention too. Um, So I was like, she's not going to hear, like she's totally not going to hear me. But the people moved because I was like, Emma, Emma. And then um, I like move, like, like, reach for her to like like get her attention and then she turns around and is like hi and then turns back around but I was like oh my god I've been there where like you didn't see you who can't it was see, yeah and it was like because they were holding up the sign for Sabrina <gasps> for um, espresso her and her friend Owen yes. who I met it was so nice yes yes yes, yes, yes. so they're there in the middle like holding up the sign and then I was like and so it hit me I was like oh she definitely thought I was like a fan or something but like also I was like we, we are fans we are a huge fan are you kidding <laughs> um and then the whole thing goes on, but I more so was a little embarrassed because I was like, oh my God, I just pictured like, I pictured a video from like the other side of someone seeing Alicia Marie, like trying to get Emma's <laughs> attention and like did, did it. I like had an out of body experience seeing what it looks like. And it was really funny. Um, so I was like, okay, it's fine. She's not gonna see me. It's totally fine. Um, a few songs later, she's like kind of like back more. And I didn't want to bother her because um, I saw fans trying to get her attention, but her friend was like, hey, sorry. Like, she's like- Just enjoy the show. She did. She took like a lot of photos, but obviously one of her best friends is like performing. Um, I don't know if they're best friends, but one of her good friends is performing. So I was like, I'm sure she just wants to do it or to watch and enjoy it. Um, But then finally I was like, Alicia, just fucking say hi. Like you're literally like your friends. Like we're not best friends, but like we're friends. So I, um, I'm, she kind of was close enough to where I like reach and like barely tap her again. I'm like, and I scream, I'm like, Emma. And she turns, she's like, oh my God, how are you? Like whatever. And then um, I just felt so relieved. She's so nice. She's so fucking nice. I like, love her. Sorry guys, we are going to pause the episode right now for the first time since pretty basic history. I'm talking what, five years, six, this is her sixth season or something. 
We had a little technical malfunction and our mic stopped recording. However, we do have the camera audio, so you are going to notice a uh, slight little downgrade in the audio quality. It's still here. It's still the rest of the episode. Also, it's not that much longer, but um, yeah, we were so sad, but um, I hope you enjoy. It's still listenable. Do not worry. And we will figure that out because we cannot have this happen again. But thanks so much for bearing with us and uh, enjoy the rest of the episode. No, fucking love her. She's killing it. Her 818... Um, parent, I'm gonna try to have tried an espresso martini with Chamberlain, but I feel like she really did. I know. Um, but it was just, it was funny seeing her. She's thriving. She seems so happy, which honestly, like, the captain for Yeah, me. they make me happy. Like, just love. Um, so yeah, it was funny. She was like, oh, I was like, you look great. You're killing it. Like, go live your best life. Um, so Sabrina was amazing. Love espresso. It's been stuck in my head. I'm not sure what got taken down to talk, but we'll figure it out. Not, you know, because yes. Little Uzi Vert, Peso Kluma, all amazing. We're like at the barricade. And then finally, like five hours later, Lana comes. Five hours. Five, literally, we were there a long time. And honestly, like, it was crazy. Someone tried to buy our spots. We told me that they're going to even cash, right? Yes. Well, I don't know about cash from them. Like, I don't know. It was them or whatever. But these people were like, kept asking everyone, us included, and the people around us, like, hi, we, like, huge fan, can we please buy your spot? And then they were like, the we were like no sorry because like i was like ollie like hell no there wouldn't be enough money in the world for ollie who said yes oh a thousand percent and then the people behind us said well how much and then they go uh like 200 and they're like nah i don't think we get this far i know i I don't think they thought they'd get that far and then i think i heard them go up to like 600 to someone and i was like damn that's a good i mean if you're not the only thing is like i don't know how long those people waited i'm like a hundred dollars an hour that i've stood like i'm like that's someone have operating big shop of money for my MC eat screaming. I was like, sorry, I didn't stand this heat. It was hot too, it was so hot. But uh, anyways, smart though, entrepreneurs. Yeah, love it. So then she comes out, it was beautiful, it was amazing. And I actually like could see everything this time. And I just kept getting glimpses of me the weekend before of like what I was doing during that song. You know what I mean? Like when Cherry was playing, I pictured me like, like Cherry, like so like, oh my God, so bad. Um, anyway, she ends and then as she's leaving, she goes to like the left side of the barricade, like says hi really quick to some fans and then comes over around to the right. Happens, like truly happens to go to the girl right next to us. To our right. She that. just runs over and is like, hi, blah, blah, blah. And then she turns and like, we make eye contact. And that's when she's like glitches and she's like, what? Like she's like, we totally like scare her. And she's like, what? And she's like looking no, into our I eyes. Love she goes, cause like, I'm trying to read her lips when yeah. you guys saw the video. And I was like, she looks, she looks like not, it's not that like annoyed. It's not no, yeah. the what the fuck. And she goes, are you fucking kidding no, me? No, I got people being like, wait, why'd she roll her eyes? Like, yeah. why does she look annoyed? And I was yeah. like, no, 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 she, she wasn't annoyed. annoyed. She literally is like, oh my God, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah. Like, yeah. are you kidding yeah. me? And it like looks both at both of us and like grabs us and then like runs and like has to like leave. Cause I heard that she, I, saw, I don't know if this is allegedly, but I saw that she, because she went over like 10 minutes, you know how they're really strict with curfews? Yeah, I think they charge you per minute there. I'm right. pretty sure she had to pay like $25,000 or something just for going over like, well, that would I guess that would have been 25 Actually, minutes. I don't think it was that long. But anyway, so she runs off and like goes back and we're just like dying. We're just like, what the fuck? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, wait, so how was it like right after it happened? Were you guys we were just like, like freaking out? What the hell? And then she leaves and we're just like, what? And then um, Ollie's called, Ollie's like, Alicia, Alicia. I'm like, what? I turn around and he's talking to these two guys who are behind us. And he goes, they're friends with Cheska, who's our mutual friend. Oh, you didn't know Hunter was there. I didn't know they were there. Oh, I thought you guys were like all together. No, I was like, I've also never met them, like ever. So all I see is Ollie talking to these two strangers and they're like, here, here, let me air talking this video. And I was like, oh my God, what? Like, what are the chances that like, they were like, yeah, yeah, like we saw the old videos forever ago, blah, blah, blah. And we have, I haven't seen them the whole time. So like they just happened to be there. Yeah. So they're the reasons why I posted the video. Cause obviously you just see my restness of a butt and that video like from behind. <laughs> um, and like, so they airdrop us that video. And I was like, oh my God, cause I was filming the whole night. I had my vlog, I was getting off contact with vlog camera. I had my phone, I had everything. And literally, <laughs> literally, I don't know what happened, but I think cause I have so many cameras. I kept accidentally re-heading the record, so it wouldn't no, be recording. No, it happened to me multiple times. No. So the, the actual clip when she comes up was recorded on my phone, but it no. was recorded on my vlog camera. Okay, that's good. But it's just like like her shoulder. Like that's all you see. So yeah, I was really so happy. I, I know. So then I was really happy when they air talked us that video. So I was like, oh my God. And then it wasn't shown on the live stream. They didn't really show fans for the live stream. Oh, like So, cause at first I was like, oh, it's okay. We'll be on the live stream. And then I was like, ah, oh, that's sucks, but it's fine. Um, anyways. 
Then um, her sister Chuck comes up to us. And one thing that she um, Chuck does, which I thought was so fucking cool, was she'll, she has a Polaroid and she'll take pictures of the fans. I think she does this at a lot of concerts and then give them the Polaroid. And that's so sweet. I know. And I just, I one, I thought of, I was like, that's so funny for anyone who doesn't know who she is. And they're just like, oh, someone gave me a Polaroid. I'm like, no, it's literally her sister. It was like a talented photographer. That's amazing. So she came out to us because she obviously went, Lana came out to us at Billboard. And she was like, me and my sister and my friends, like we all watch yeah, you guys. Yeah. So it was my first time meeting Chuck. And she was just like, oh my God, she's so cute. So she takes a Polaroid of us, um, which is the one that we posted. And then she had her other camera. So she took photos when Lana was saying hi to us. Um, and then she took another photo of Ollie and I um, afterwards. She's like, here pose and whatever. We're like, this is crazy. And she literally comes up and is like, I can't believe you guys are real. I was like, well, I literally, I think I muffled some random, I don't, I probably, like, I don't, I don't know what I said. That's insane. Just because I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is insane. I feel like I've been having so many moments like that where I'm just like, I, like I'm just like so grateful for like everything. And like, I don't know, again, we just started this, sh- like, we just started posting videos for fun. And, like, how are we still here? Like, I've just had so many entry moments like that, even YouTube and um, like going to YouTube for the new friends thing and like all these things. I was like, wow. Um, so then she was like, I'll DM you the photos, blah, blah, blah. We have to cut them up. It's totally fine. Even if they never got them, totally fine. Um, but yeah, it was just crazy. So Ollie and I were just like, what the hell? And also, like, just, I don't know. It was just crazy. So thank you again for setting up the ticket. It's not a tweet. Of course. I'm um, so glad it all worked and out. And then, so the next day we see Tweet perform. Um, and she was at 420 on 420, which I thought was iconic. Oh, I, I know. Um, she killed it. Literally she killed it. And so she then so afterwards, we were like, we were like trying to meet up with her, but like, we were like, she's busy. Like, she's not replying. It's totally fine. Like, she's, she's, fine. Just, she's literally performing at Coachella. Like, but we just wanted to be like, hey, like, thank you so much, you know? So we run and later that night, we watched Bleachers. Once we were there, we were like, oh, I feel good now. You know, we watched Bleachers. We met so many people and it was so fun for people to come. They're like, where's Ben? And like, she's in Vegas with Cal. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. No, it was so funny. And then we also saw Ice Spice because we didn't see her the first oh, weekend. Yeah. She was so fucking good. But while we were in the artist section for Ice Spice, um, we see Twee's boyfriend. Oh. So we were like, um, and I was like, come on, let's go say hi, let's go say hi. So we go, but Twee wasn't there. He was like, um, he was like, oh my God, so we serious. Oh, she's over there, like in the front. Like, you're like, and we are like, it's okay because it was so crowded. Then finally we wait a little bit longer and then I looked at Ollie and was like, are you, I'm good to go if you are, like, just don't feel like I'm dying, you know, like I'm good to go, whatever. And he's like, I'm good to go. And I'm like, okay. As we walk out, we literally see Twee and her boyfriend um, sitting, waiting for the um, the shuttle uh, golf carts to take them back to the artist company. Oh. So we're like, what the fuck? We're like, oh my God, we're so glad we got to see you. Like, seriously, thank you so much. She's like, are you kidding? Like, she was like, oh no, yeah. She was so sweet. And we were just like, no, seriously, like you, like, I, we were just hyping her the fuck up. I was like, you don't understand. Like, you are going places. Like, your stage presence. She's a small butt. Oh my God, a thousand percent. Um, Because we can, one, we were so far in the back. I like, I heard her and I didn't see her. Like, this time being front row, I was like, wow, your stage presence is amazing. So the story is really interesting too. Oh my God. Um, so we rode back with her on the golf carts back to the artist compound and I was just so happy to hang out for a little bit. So then once we got back there, she was like, wait, have you guys been to the trailers? Like you should come. And then we we're like, uh, there, <laughs> there. Uh, yeah. So she said, no, <laughs> no, we're so she just, like, just came from yeah. there. <laughs> no, we're already here. Uh, so she's like, oh my God, come. So then she like waves to the city. She shows the security guard her wristband. She's like, they're with me. And I was like, oh my God, I feel so like, cool. I was like, I feel so cool. I was like, yeah, we're with her. I don't have a reserve but we're with her. Um, so she brings us back, introduces us to her whole team, her like hairstylist, her stylist, like everyone. And she's like, guys, like this is all Alicia. And um, they were supposed to be going, do you want anything? You want food? You got scared of what we're going I just got so scared of you. <laughs> so sorry. No, you're good. Um, they have like sprinkles, cupcakes, and oh I, my God. I, I looks I can't it. remember the last time I stuffed my face with the, the sprinkles cupcakes like that. Like I was so like tired, the sugar, I was like, need it. I was like, me, I what literally, what did you get? Um, it was strawberry. I was so good. Strawberries. I'm not kidding. I was like, damn, I just inhaled that. Like I literally said that to everyone cause I ate it in two seconds cause I was so hungry and it was just like the sugar oh, yeah. gave me energy and I was so tired and I was like, wow, I needed that. Um, so yeah, we hung out there for a little bit and then, um, and then she was like kind of getting ready to go. We we're like, okay, like we're going to head out. We don't want to bother you anymore. But, um, yeah, I'm just so good. Well, we're going to see her this weekend. Yes. We're doing a little taco night at my house. Yes. I can't wait to see her. I'm um, so glad it all worked out. It did. I mean, dream sick. Just like when we went to uh, the billboard thing where a lot of things happened. Like, I could not have guessed that would happen. When you guys were sending me the videos and I was in Vegas, I... Did you die? Well, I kept, like, waiting for updates from you guys because I wanted to know what was happening. 
and I didn't get any updates. I didn't get any updates. Finally, I checked my phone, and I just get a, you're not going to fucking believe it. And then I get that video, and I was like, honestly, crazier things have happened. Like, yeah. I'm, I, I could not have guessed that, but also, like, I wasn't shocked. Yes. Because she is so nice and normal and gracious, and her reaction is just, like, so her. I know. So funny, so her. It was so, it was so crazy. And, yeah, I mean, Ollie, because I was like, oh, I'm so proud of me. And he's like, no, no, I'm going to wait a little bit. I was like, like, you know, like, did I? It was so funny. Um, but, but yeah, it was great. I can't thank you enough. And we had a great time. Um, and it was amazing. I've so ever had to go to stream tweet. Her new song's amazing. She's over. Um, yeah, I love her so much. On that note, comment below what your dreams and manifestations are because shit comes real and you got to speak it out there because clearly it works. Your dreams can come true. And... A dream is a wish. The Disney cast yeah, version. I'm it. When you fast asleep. Exactly. Okay, guys. On that note, we love you so much. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Pretty Basic. Thank you for watching Pretty Basic. If you guys have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe. And also go check out Basically Unfiltered. Yes, we love you so much. And we will catch you next week with a new episode. Love you. Bye. Bye. Mwah.